This is Zombie Lion. I've uploaded a lot of Ocarina of Time clips to YouTube. It occurs to me that not a lot of people know how to record video games onto computers. You Google it, and a lot of people are asking, but there aren't a lot of good answers. So I thought I'd show people what I do. It's a pretty ghetto setup, but it's what I got, and it works for me. I like to do a practice run, especially now that I'm getting later in the game and there are temples and dungeons that are a lot more complicated. It has been a few years since I've played this, and my memory is not what it used to be. Years ago, I actually made myself a cheat sheet of all the things to do and in what order to do them. Uh, it really helps to keep me on track and remember what to do next and when it's best to get this or that. Uh, I like to back up my files. I keep two running of one I need in case I accidentally save when I don't need to. I'm using the GameCube version here. And I have the typical uh, GameCube cable to the front of the mini DV VCR. This one I have is JVC. I'm pretty sure the model number is HRDVS2U. I got it from eBay for a couple hundred bucks a few years ago. You can see this model is refurbished. It's got a VHS deck and a mini DV deck. And I can dub it from analog to digital or vice versa. I uh, split the signal back to the TV using a regular RCA cable, and I split it to the computer through a Firewire cable, just a little 4-pin to 6-pin the back of my good old-fashioned Dell. You can also get, and these were popular 10 years ago when DVDs were coming out and people were scared they'd lose their VHS tapes, uh, a Hollywood DV bridge. These things don't work very well at all, but uh, they're touchy. Um, they work if it's not Tuesday, and if it's not raining, and if you don't yell at it. I just use Windows Movie Maker with XP. It does not come with Windows 7, so you can use Sony Vegas, you can use Adobe Premiere. Uh, this works. I also simultaneously record audio using Audacity. And a cheap little headset mic. So I begin with the audio. Check, check one. Check, check one. Begin the video capture. And then I start myself a gaming. Because I record the commentary live, I have to sync up the audio with the video. So I turn the television up so that I can hear it over the microphone. And just do a couple of moves. Let me go back down to the first level. Thon your iron boots again and sync all the way down. The old TV I use actually makes this really high-pitched squeal that picks up on my microphone. So I have to go through an Audacity and run a low-pass filter through, which gets rid of the hiss. 961 Hz usually does it, but if you can tell in some of my clips, my voice is a little flatter than in others because I have to clip a little bit more off the top. Then I sync it up. I used to only have a PlayStation 2 USB microphone that was a piece of crap, and all sorts of stuff would pick up on that microphone. Breathing, knocking, people outside. Now I'm using a cheaper one that I got on Amazon. It beats the old USB mic, but you still hear a lot of the exhaling after line. Oh, stupid Impa. And some of the inhaling before lines. And I have to go through and mute all of those clips, just so it sounds a little bit better. Once I'm happy with the clip and I've got the audio all edited and processed, it's time to upload it to YouTube. I keep it in DV format to keep the audio and video quality about as high as they can be. However, this means that each 10 minute clip is about 2 gigabytes. Well, a little over 2 gigabytes. And at my max internet speed, that takes me 6 or 7 hours. And I frequently have to re-upload if the upload gets delayed or stunted or just doesn't process right on YouTube for any old reason. So it takes quite a while, but I think it's worth it. I can record in 480p and transfer that all the way to YouTube. So that's how I record video games. Different people use different methods. Some people use a media converter. Some people use a DVD-R and record straight to a DVD using the video feed from their television. And some people just use an emulator and some screen capturing software like ZDSoft Screen Recorder. But this is my method. I hope you found this video a little bit informative. Thank you for watching.